which do commute, uh, uh, all, all components of your angular momentum commute with uh, L squared. Right? So you've got these three. All right, now uh, define uh, the, the L plus and the L minus, you know, three bars here, so you're defining it, uh, you know, somewhat similar to what we're doing before for the SHO, the simple harmonic oscillator, for, for energy eigenvalues. But this time we're doing it for uh, spin, actually, but let's say angular momentum eigenvalues, but a, sp a special kind of angular momentum uh, that later we'll call spin. But we haven't got there yet. But um, right, so uh, the, this kind of up-down uh, trick, in very similar to what we did for SHO, we're now we are now doing for uh, angular momentum, in a manner of speaking. Right now, here's where uh, the algebra starts. A lot of algebra. It's it's not difficult. It's just a bit tedious. So uh, I ask you, you know, to to do this for homework. Um, show that the commutator of LZ, L plus minus, now this is just shorthand, uh, they're talk I'm talking two equations here. So if, if, if for L plus, uh, the right hand side would be plus H bar, blah, blah. And for L minus here, the right hand side here would be minus H. So in, in a sense, I'm writing two equations uh, at once, just saving a, a bit of space, right? That's a bit tedious, it's so just a bit easier. Okay, so be conscious there are two, two equations here. And I've labeled this equation uh, plus circle, or circle plus, because I'll, I'll refer back to this later. I'll, I'll need this equation later. Right? And uh, so show, show that this is true. Right? You, know, you know what L's, well, you know what L uh, plus and minus are, uh, because by definition, it's just this, right? So if, if it's L plus, in here, you will plug in uh, LX plus ILY, right? Here. So, uh, you know, uh, calc calculate what this commutator is, and you'll find that it's this, all right? And if it's L squared, then uh, your commutator will be zero. So, so prove that, do that for homework. And this commutator I've labeled as uh, star circle, because right? I'll, I'll need it later. And here's the third one. Um, so L plus times L minus is this, show, show that that's the case. Or L minus L plus is this, but with a minus here. Okay? And that relation I've uh, labeled, you know, the whole thing, well, two of them. I've labeled uh, x circle, right? So, so I've got three, three equations or pairs of equations labeled by plus circle, star circle, x circle, right? Now, now, uh, so it's not to lose the wood for the trees. You don't, you're not standing too close to the details that you sort of lose sight of the bigger, bigger picture. What are we trying to do? We are trying, we're using this algebra, we're trying to find the values of uh, the eigenvalues, right? We're trying to find the eigenvalue spectrum. In other words, try to find, you know, using this algebra, this up-down algebra, step up, step down algebra, to find all possible values uh, for the eigenvalues, right? For lambda and for mu. All right. Okay. So uh, from this, you know, so, you know, from uh, star circle. So from from this, uh, show that show that this is true. Okay. Now, uh, well, that's pretty. I mean, seeing that that's true, that's pretty easy, right? Because uh, the commutator is zero. So L squared L plus will be the same as L plus L squared squared. Okay, so that's that's what you've got here. Uh, but uh, L squared psi, that's the left hand side of an eigen equation. So L squared psi is lambda psi, and right? it's just a constant. And you've still got this here. 
So... Now let's see, where did this, where did this come from? Oh, that's, that was just from here. They swap around. Okay. And this lambda came from here. Okie dokie. And therefore, uh, you've got a new, have, have a look at these two together. You've now got a new eigen equation. Right? This now is your eigenfunction. You've got a new eigenfunction because here it is and here it is. And that whole thing is in the form of an eigen equation, right? Operator, eigenfunction, eigenvalue, eigenfunction. Okay? So, um, so this term here, uh, L plus, or L minus, so L plus psi is uh, an eigenvector of L squared. Right. Now I'll do something similar uh, from the equation plus circle, which is this one. No, sorry, this one. Okay. Do 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 something similar and do do all this for homework, right? Uh, do you know, derive all this, fill in all the details, uh, you know, work between the lines, familiarize yourself with with this stuff uh, because you know it's good solid. Uh, quantum mechanical theory. Right? If you want to be serious mathematical physicists, uh, you really need to know this stuff. Okay? Uh, this this uh, step up, step down technique gets used quite a lot. It's, it's useful. So uh, really master. Okay? Alright, so uh, you know, similar to what we did here, do the same to this relationship. So uh, So L plus LZ, that's from here. Now, uh, LZ psi is mu psi, that's from uh, here, right? That, that was the eigenvalue for the Z component. So L, LZ psi is mu psi. So that's where this comes from. Right, just a constant, so bring it outside. Uh, okay, and this L, L plus... Where does L plus come from? Here. Here. So, but L plus... Uh, here. So L... Let me just see, where does that come from? L plus LZ. L plus LZ. Okay, from from this you can you, know, you can get that. I, I haven't it hasn't clicked in my head, but you know, show show that that's true. Okay, so this equals that because of this. All right. Uh, so so L Z L plus L Z L plus. So take this over to here, so you'll get mu plus h bar times L plus psi, L plus psi. But you've got, you've got uh, here LZ, L plus psi. Alright, so again we've got a new um, eigen equation, right? Operator, uh, a new eigenfunction, eigenfunction, and a new eigenvalue, right? So um, the eigenvalue of this operator is now h bar higher than mu. So it looks as though this operator here is a raising operator. Right? It's a step up operator. It, it, it uh, steps up the value of the eigenvalue by h bar. Right? So this, this uh, step up operator takes this um, Eigenf uh, operator and gives uh, an eigenvector, makes this eigenvector that has an eigenvalue that's increased by h bar. And you, can see, you can just see it here, right? With, without, without this, you just have L, LZ psi is just mu psi, okay? But by having this L plus here, um, 
that it creates a new eigenfunction such that the eigenvalue is what it was, mu, plus, it's been stepped up, plus h bar. Okay? Now, uh, with a similar logic, I haven't done it, but I ask you to do it for you, you know, you do it as homework, hw. Uh, show, you know, something similar to this, but with l minus. Right? And uh, this, eigen, this new eigenfunction will have an eigenvalue that is mu minus h bar. Okay? It steps down by, by this amount h bar. Okay? So prove, prove that for yourself. <coughs> oh. <coughs>